What are the most common pen test restrictions? Ever wondered about it? Welcome to the intriguing world of pen testing, or penetration testing, a crucial component in the realm of cybersecurity. Imagine pen testing as a friendly burglary, where cybersecurity experts try to break into their own systems. The goal? To discover potential vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. It's all about proactively finding weak spots that could be exploited by malicious hackers. Now, you might be thinking, so, they just hack their own systems freely? Well, not quite. This is where pen test restrictions come into play. These are guidelines that define what can and cannot be done during a pen test. They're like the rules of engagement in this digital battlefield, ensuring that the process is both effective and ethical. These restrictions can vary widely, and understanding them is key to carrying out a successful pen test. To better understand these restrictions, we need to first delve into what pen testing is. Pen testing, or penetration testing, is a critical component of cybersecurity. It's the practice of testing a computer system, network, or web application to find security vulnerabilities that an attacker could exploit. The essence of pen testing is to simulate a cyber attack, much like a fire drill in a building, to see how well the system can withstand it. Pen testing is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it helps identify weaknesses in a system before a real attacker finds them. Secondly, it provides a detailed view of the current state of your system's security. Lastly, it helps ensure that the system complies with industry standards, regulations and requirements, which is vital for businesses operating in sectors where data security is paramount. Now, who are the people behind this vital work? They're known as pen testers or ethical hackers. These tech wizards use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities, strengthening the system's defenses. However, Contrary to what you might think, they don't have free reign to do whatever they want. Pen testers operate within a set of rules and restrictions. These guidelines are necessary to ensure that the process is carried out ethically, responsibly and legally. They prevent potential misuse of the information discovered during the test and ensure that the pen testers' actions won't cause unnecessary harm to the system being tested. Some might see these restrictions as a hindrance, but they're an essential part of the process. Just like a doctor needs to follow ethical guidelines when treating a patient, a pen tester must adhere to certain rules when testing a system. These restrictions ensure the integrity of the process and the safety of the system, and they form a crucial part of the relationship of trust between the pen tester and the client. So pen testing isn't just about finding and fixing vulnerabilities, it's also about conducting the process in a way that is safe, ethical and responsible. Now that we understand the importance of pen testing, let's take a look at some of the most common restrictions pen testers face. One of the biggest restrictions pen testers often encounter is the scope of the test. It's like being a detective with a search warrant, but you're only allowed to search specific rooms in a house, not the entire property. The scope of a pen test defines exactly what systems or networks the pen tester is authorized to test, which may be a particular server, a network segment, or an application. And it's not just a guideline, it's a hard boundary. Deviating from the agreed scope can lead to legal issues and at the very least a loss of trust between the pen tester and the client. This restriction isn't arbitrary though. It's designed to protect sensitive data and systems from unnecessary exposure and to ensure the test doesn't disrupt critical operations. So while the scope may feel limiting, it's there for a good reason. But the scope isn't the only restriction. Let's discover more. Another common restriction is time constraints. Now, you might be wondering why time would be a factor in pen testing. Well, it's quite simple. In the real world, pen testers often have a limited amount of time to conduct their tests and produce results. Imagine you're a pen tester. You've been given a complex network to test, full of potential vulnerabilities. However, you've been told you only have a week to complete your tests. This is a time constraint and it's a very real challenge that pen testers face. You see, comprehensive pen testing isn't just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about understanding them, documenting them, and suggesting ways to fix them. This process can be time-consuming, particularly when dealing with complex systems or advanced threats. Despite the pressure, it's crucial that pen testers work within these constraints to deliver accurate and useful results. Rushing through a pen test can lead to overlooked vulnerabilities, inaccurate findings, or even damage to the system being tested. 
So how do pen testers manage this restriction? It's all about efficient planning and prioritization. They identify the most critical areas for testing, plan their time accordingly, and ensure they focus on delivering high quality results. Remember, pen testing is a race against the clock, but it's not just about speed, it's about thoroughness, accuracy, and value. These are the qualities that truly define a successful pen test. Time constraints can indeed be challenging, but there's one more restriction we need to talk about. Last but not least, let's talk about the restriction of legal and compliance requirements. This form of restriction is often overlooked, but it's paramount to the field of pen testing. Legal and compliance requirements are a set of rules, laws and regulations that pen testers must adhere to during their operations. These regulations can significantly limit the testing methods that pen testers can use. For instance, in many jurisdictions, certain kinds of penetration testing methodologies are considered illegal. These can include, but are not limited to, brute force attacks, phishing scams, and the use of certain types of software. If a pen tester is found to be violating these laws, they could face severe penalties, including fines or even imprisonment. Beyond the legal perspective, there are also ethical considerations at play. Pen testers must respect the privacy and rights of individuals and organizations. They must not exploit any vulnerabilities they find for personal gain, and they must always have explicit permission to conduct their tests. Additionally, many industries have specific compliance requirements. For instance, the healthcare industry must comply with regulations such as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act HIPAA, and financial institutions are governed by laws like the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act. Pen testers working in these fields must understand and abide by these regulations to ensure their testing is legal and ethical. As we see, pen testing is not without its restrictions, but these limitations are necessary to ensure ethical and responsible testing.